August is here and Project Elixir is here. It's not based with the August security patch, by the way, because while making this video, August security patch is not released yet. But it is having the July security patch and we are talking about Project Elixir version 3.10, which is based on Android 13 and having the July security patch. With the July security patch, it includes some great features, some new changes and a lot of major changes actually and we'll talk about all of those things in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Video could be quite interesting so if you're new here, make sure to subscribe the channel because I make custom room videos almost every day. Here is the first change which we got is the quick settings header images. You can see if you move on the quick settings customizations, you can customize the quick settings header and you have the option to choose the images from approximately up to 75 quick settings header images and this is a big number by the way. Almost identically same kind of quick settings header images are also present in Evolution XOS custom room. In battery styles, we also have the landscape iOS 16 style battery indicator, although it is actually having some bugs. And what is that bug? If you're able to notice, if I select this landscape, the battery icon is now changed. It's now actually ported MX. So same like that, if I select landscape iOS 15, the battery style is selected as landscape R. We have this kind of things. So if I select this landscape, this one, it will show you iOS 15 style. And if I choose the menu a pill style, it will choose the iOS 16 style. So of course it is a bug, not a major one, but this is what we have in the source and this should be available in your custom room too, in your device too. But landscape iOS 16 style battery indicator is included and that is the major change. Another thing is if you move on to the wallpapers and styles option, you can see the new picker UI is here. It's almost identically same like Pixie SOS, but I found first time in Pixie SOS. You have option to customize the lock screen clock color. You have the option to customize the clock size. It's totally up to you. You can change these things as if you want to. And if you need some customizations here, you have the option to do so. We also have the options related to other, I mean to say more options where you have same kind of options available in lock screen options almost every customer brings you these kind of things home screen having the themed icons options and nothing else if i move on to the other options if you are able to notice the switches are also a bit changed it's not the same like in Android 12 or Android 13, which you have by default. This is like this one, which is having, which is inspired from P404, which is Project 404, that previously known as CAF based custom home. Now it's it's no more alive, but the things were imported from there. If I move on the gesture navigation sensitivity, if you're able to notice, we also have this dead zone option, which is which was not present in the previous updates. It's related to gesture navigation, by the way. And if you are into gesture navigation things from sometimes you might already go to know what this feature is all about if you use navigation gestures you can see the options or that brief summary is written below one of the major changes includes the split notification shade the thing which i tried as a magisk module in some of the custom homes you can do that very easily with the help of magisk module named as better qs by honeybee but this is available in this custom room by default so this is quite impressive if you love this kind of quick settings panel where in the left side we have the quick setting styles and the right side we have the notification shade then you will definitely love project elixir latest version update these are the major changes which we got here after installing this custom room. Although this custom room brings you some great in the terms, some great options in the terms of theming. We have options related to custom fonts, and there are many fonts options available. As expectedly, some icon pack customizations, icon shape customizations, signal icons, and Wi-Fi icons, and so on. We have the options related to lock screen where we have edge lighting, we have the screen of animations, status bar having same kind of options. We also have the retickle notification support, which is quite impressive. Gestures, etc., are literally same, no major changes here. We also have the option for advanced restart, ignore windows, secure flags, and it is also having the higher FPS games and the game space too. So these are things which are available here. And if you want to install this custom room on your device, the link for the official device is supported available in the description thanks for watching i will see you in the next one if you're new here don't forget to subscribe the channel for more content like this one and make sure to like this video goodbye